But anyway, yeah, the idea I had already touched on a few things we talked about last week. Specifically, there was number 19, Ryan, which obviously off the top of head, you can just tell me what was number 19. Correct. Learn oh, I can. Something new oh, every day. oh you're I was going to give it a guess, but I don't think it would have been that. <laughs> so learn something new every day. Ryan, you talk, You in fact then jumped in and talked about me with my becoming a tradesman the last year and talked about some plumbing that I did. We also talked a bit about smaller things, that these wasn't just big things you learn, but, you know, it's your, oh, a quick, I'll open my phone and Google where such and such a place is or what this is or why this looks like that. And, you know, there's lots of smaller things that we could probably be patting ourselves on the back with learning as much as the bigger things that we're doing. Some of the bigger things this year which you did touch on a little bit and avoided talking about it, but I think it fits really well, is through the wonder of the internet and the access to technology and good content, I will say. You know, you have to be careful what you look for, but there's a lot of good videos out there. So I've been on a mass decorating project this week. I think one of you quipped earlier to me in our preamble that it might be finished by the time I get married next year. Fingers crossed it is. But we started off... That was me. September, October, you look very proud of yourself as well. September, October time on redecorating two rooms, so living room, dining room, and doing the hallway at the same time. Um, and other than getting someone out to lay some floor for us, which has been a nightmare, which is not relevant to this podcast, but you guys had to hear my sad tale before this. Everything else, obvious bits, of, I've stripped all the skirting boards off, filled in holes on the wall. In the living room, there was like a, ra- a picture rail around the top of a room that's far too short for it. There was some lo- floating lights in the middle of the wall, which I've taken out and replastered where they were. Repaired holes in the wall where they were. Put up new everything pretty much around the house. Got it all painted, fixed things as I went. There was... You see if this background was up upon me, a door where it completely split in half and I reattached all the wood together. Loads and loads of stuff as I went. I'll put on new plugs, new plugs and new light switches everywhere, replacing the there were plastic ones there and they're now chrome ones that are on. Found a couple of boxes that had broken and needed replacing. Loads, loads of stuff. I won't read it all off, but there's a lot of stuff. And we did it all of our, ourselves. And most of this stuff I didn't know how to do. And I taught myself through the wonder of YouTube and Google how to do all of these things and have done what I would consider to be a more than reasonable job as far as everything. In fact, I'm going to say I did a good job as far as everything goes. I'm really pleased with how it all looks. Oh, plastered the wall, by the way, as well. There you go. I did one in, which was a, a significant skill to learn. And I think, I say, to a really good degree on how everything's been done. So I've been really pleased with it on the time and effort, but more so the skills that I've learned now in in doing everything. So on that learn something every day, I didn't, you know, it's not like I did one thing each day, but there's been a lot of skills, big skills that are now in my bank through the necessity of having to do them. So that's what I was going to talk about on that one, which is almost a preamble, though, to what this podcast is about. And actually, it ties in, Ryan, with question 15, which I'm sure you can just reel 15 off the top of your head, even oh, if you were going to get God. 19 wrong. Uh, 15 um no go on go on narrow down your focus bit by bit okay 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 and you both talked about your 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 view of this and i said i had a completely different view to the two of you which is part of what i love about lists and advice like that it's all the different and complete legitimate interpretations you can take away from things like that so on narrow down your focus bit by bit, Ryan, you talked about having a view in your, your binoculars far away of something you're aiming for and that over time you kind of focus in on that target or you get you get closer and closer to it. I think I'm kind of in the right ballpark there. And Jose was laser focused that everything you do is focused on your goal. So whatever you're doing ties into that, that you know, whether it's your hobbies or spare time or work or reading or learning it all ties in on that thing that you are laser focused on, narrowing your focus, Um, both of which I really, really love both of them. My takeaway on that was that it's about you splitting your plan down into chunks. So I would narrow my focus bit by bit. And this is where I was deliberate at the start and I didn't want to bore and scare everyone off of me listing off a hundred different jobs I did around the house. Reminds me, Ryan, there's a pod, there's a family guy bit where, where Peter's doing a podcast about the hats and it cuts to him just sitting there going, old lady's hat, baseball cap, pizza box on your head. I'm cat. not sure if I've seen that one. 
and he gets to the end and he's like, I think that's all the hats. And that's what I felt like I was doing. I'm like, <laughs> and that's all the jobs. Um, but the reason for doing that was it was big. There was a lot that's been done in this, this time period. Um, and I think it would have been very easy for me to look at how much we had to do and be like, I don't even know where to start. I don't know what we're doing. This is too much. What do we do? Blah, 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 blah. And I was very deliberate in my planning to break this down into jobs. So for me, and this is, you know, this is a technique I use. This is a very good outside of work example, but one I do in work as well is that if, we, if there's a big project coming up, rather than looking at I'm here and I've got to get to here, I will break that down into steps. You know, um, so I've probably told you this in work before. I know I've used it on the podcast before. My success is where, you know, am I, should I be on step two? Am I on step two? How is it going is how you measure that progress till you, till you get to the end. And you probably have to tweak and adapt and change things on the way when you do it. But I would take that very big goal and break down. In fact, Joe, there was a day many years ago, we had this, you had a big thing you wanted to do. And we, we booked out a room and we spent a day brainstorming that into tiny little chunks and followed the little chunks and we made it happen. Yeah. I really, um, that's one thing I really enjoyed about it was that, it, it, that 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 was the thing I really learned from that that journey is that you can have something big and just breaking it down becomes a lot more manageable because you just look at the whole thing like you said you just get overwhelmed and you think where do I start and that's the thing that always stopped me in a lot of my life actually going forward with anything because I just felt paralysed so yeah I really did like that by the way and it's a really great exercise real time real life in a real situation which I thought was really good and I learned a lot from that a lot so thanks Lee I okay. could and that's that's what I'm I've done in real life with with this and there were things like I, ha I had to hang a door for example which I've never done before this was a part of the plan so before I got to the bit on the door and I'd, I'd start thinking I remind myself no I'm doing the whatever I'm doing taking off the skirts that's all I'm worried about today once this is done tomorrow I can worry about what I've got to do with the door so I wasn't distracting myself and going from tantrum stuff and I did I did have to be like conscious competent you say and remind myself of this but then got the door the door turned up little did i know you don't have holes for hinges to go in you don't have a hole for your door handle to go in the door isn't even the right size for the door frame because they're all different so then it was through the magic of youtube right how do i what's the technique to resize a door what tools do i need to resize the door right i now know what i need to do i've now got the tools many tools i've bought that i will only use once that are a litter in my cupboard now and then I did that bit, you know, I resized it. Right, what do I do to create hinge? Taught myself, I chiseled in the little rectangle bits for the hinge to go in. It was one of my more pleasing jobs that I did because I didn't really know how you did it before. And, but again, what's the technique for that? What do I do? How do I do it? Right, this, and this is where I used my, like, eight or nine o'clock time in the morning or evening time or a weekend. You know, on a Saturday, I'd be like, right, I'm going to do this job and this job. And again, focus on what do I need? How do I do it? Do that bit of a job. right. Tomorrow, I then worry about the next one, the next one, the next one. And some of that time might have just been researching how to do something. Some of it might have been getting the tools I need. Some of it's actually doing the work. Some of it doing the rework once I'm not happy with what I did on the work in the first place. But each one of those in little jobs, bit by bit, by bit, by bit, by bit. I'm now at a point now where we've done all of that work. And I know, like what you said right earlier on, we'll get someone, someone's coming in to lay floor, which we wanted to do everything else before we did that. I've then got my last job, which is I need to redo a skirting board. So I've got to buy new skirts and I know roughly what I need to do, but I don't know specifically what I need to do. But I know that there is some time coming up where I will research what I need to do, make sure I've got the tools and then do that, do that last bit of a job and then we'll be completed. And it was all by those little, little jobs along the way. And before I give my last little bit of I suppose, advice on this, because again, this is something I've done in real life to make something manageable like you said joe we've talked about that before where we've done it we've done that exact thing ryan you're involved in multiple different programs and projects and problem solving at work <laughs>